All right, golfers, we're going to talk a little bit about why you might come over the top in your golf swing and a couple drills you can do to start solving that problem. The first thing you need to do if you, if you come over the top is you need to check the club face angle. If the club face is too open on the way down, almost every golfer that knows what they're doing is going to come over the top. And the reason for that is the club face is the primary influence on where the ball is going to go. Now, if we have a really nice downswing plane and we don't come over the top, but the face is wide open, we're gonna hit shots way off to the right all day as a right-handed golfer. So coming over the top, if you have the face open excessively, it's actually something that's helping you. And so the first step isn't to fix the path because you'll just, you'll just hit it further to the right. The first step is actually to get the club face in a better spot. Now, if you swing over the top, you'll hit pulls to the left as a right-handed golfer, and you'll have the incentive to swing more from the inside. So one thing you could do is just set up your phone, put it in slow motion and watch your downswing. You don't want the club face, the toe of it to be pointed up behind you on the way down. Instead, what you'd wanna see is as the club falls down, that the toe is either straight up in the air or as it gets lower to the ball, hopefully it would be a little bit more towed in where the face angle would point more this direction as I have it here. That would help you get the club face in a square position so that if you did swing over the top, you would pull it instead of slice it. The sooner you can get the club face squared up, the less incentive you'll have to come over the top. So we don't want over the top to be rewarding. We don't want it to send the ball toward our target. We actually need it to give us negative feedback if we want to start improving it. So first things first, check the club face angle. Make sure it's not too open. Now, the second reason you may be coming over the top excessively is if the hands get drug inside too soon. And here's what I mean by that. If we take this club in the hand path and we move it well behind us early in the swing, well, what's not going to happen as we go up to the top is they're going to move further behind us. We're not going to do that. Because we've maxed out the amount the club can move behind us and the hands can move behind us very early in the backswing, what will happen is to complete the swing, the player will start to raise their arms excessively. And as we do that, the grip of the club is actually starting the process of moving over the top. It's moving closer to the golf ball. So we get this golf club way inside, the hands way behind us. And as we complete the backswing, the arms are already lifting and starting that motion. And what happens is the player inevitably comes over the top, the path gets very steep, and they struggle with slices and pulls. So if that's you, this is a really good drill I like to do. Take an alignment stick and set up to the golf ball. What we're going to do is take the alignment stick. We're going to set it right on the ball line, but we're actually going to have it angled inwards just a few degrees. I'm talking maybe 15 or 20 degrees. Okay. Now the goal as we take this club head back is going to be from my point of view, I feel like I'm keeping that golf club outside that orange stick for as long as possible. Okay, this blue stick just represents my stance line. Pay no attention to that. As I take this club back, I'm feeling like it stays outside that orange stick. I never want it to get inside the orange stick. So when you make your takeaway, your hands are allowed to move in some amount, but we don't want the club to move in that much. So from my point of view, that club is staying outside the orange stick. Now my hands aren't super far behind me. And as I load up to the top, I'm still getting the club gradually moving behind me instead of sucking it in excessively to start the backswing, okay? Now, if you have a good takeaway and you still come over the top, there's a couple other reasons that could be. And one of them is spine tilt. So what I mean by spine tilt is basically the angle of our spine throughout the swing. And so if this would represent my spine angle, this, this orange stick, what I would wanna see in the backswing is a, is a spine angle that stays relatively neutral and doesn't have a ton of forward bend, and it doesn't have a ton of reverse pivot, right? What I see with players who have too much reverse pivot is as they start that process of their reverse pivot, their lead shoulder will move down excessively and their hand path will start to move out. So what that looks like with a golf club in my hand is as I start my backswing and I start that process of leaning toward the target, you're gonna see that my left shoulder works very down, my hand path starts working out toward the golf ball, and again, this is that process of starting to come over the top. As it looks from the face on view, as I finish this backswing and I start this spine tilt, again, my upper body leading my lower body, it's gonna get that lead shoulder working to down and the hand path out, and you set yourself up to swing over the top. So if that is you, my recommendation is to take another alignment stick and put it about a club head inside your trail foot. 
what that'll look like from this point of view is something like that. Now, take the golf club, put it on your shoulders. The goal here is going to try and be to match this golf club up with the stick. If you're leaning excessively toward the target, you have no chance to achieve that, right? So this will really help with your pivot and getting that sort of neutral spine at the top. So something like that would be really good. Now what happens when I do that is the golf club wants to continue working around me. I don't have this excessive leftward tilt and the super vertical and outward hand path, okay? Now, if that's not you, if you have a decent takeaway, your club face isn't too open, uh, and you have decent spine tilt control or pretty neutral spine at the top, an excessive cupping of the lead wrist could also be getting you in trouble and making you come over the top. And, and here's what I mean by that. A lot of people will define over the top as the hand path moving outward in transition, which forces the golf club to swing outside in. Well, that's not the only thing that can cause us to swing outside in or, or over the top, so to speak. Another thing people will commonly call over the top is an aggressive change in the pitch of the shaft in transition. So as I start to cut my lead wrist, what will happen is the golf club will get very vertical. If you know me, you know I talk a lot about club head location. If the club head location is getting more outward as my lead wrist extends, I'm actually steepening the path and aiming the club head to swing more over the top. So if you go up to the top of your backswing and as you start down, you start to cup your wrist, the club will get very steep or very vertical. And this is another form of over the top. Even though my hands are working in a relatively good fashion, because I'm extending the lead wrist, the shaft is getting vertical and it's going to start to pitch over the top. So if that's you, we need to work on flexing or closing the wrists, getting this lead wrist to do the opposite of cupping to sort of flatten that shaft back out and avoid that over the top look. So if that's you, I like to take both hands, prayer mode, I'm just gonna set them together. I want you to go to the top and I want you to use your lead wrist to push your trail wrist back. And that's gonna be the movement of actually doing the opposite of steepening or coming over the top. And it's gonna be the movement of shallowing the shaft. So as I go up to the top, I'm really using the muscles in my wrist to push this down. You can see the trail wrist extends, the lead wrist flex. And as I apply that motion with a golf club, what it looks like is the exact opposite of coming over the top. Hope that helps golfers, thanks.